What's up, guys? I'm hanging out with Mark from Distant Lands Travel in Pasadena, California. Mark just got back on a round the world trip about six months ago. So I'm going to ask him some questions in case you're interested in taking a round the world trip. So how was that? What was your um, What was your main inspiration for traveling around the world? I got bored. Yeah, I just kind of reached a point in my life where I felt like I was stuck in neutral. So it was time for a new adventure. And I had the resources and time to do it. And if you do, do. Absolutely. So were you here in Los Angeles working and then you just needed a break? Yeah. Uh, I turned 30 right before the trip started and uh, bought a plane ticket a month later, one way to Bangkok and just went. Wow. One way to Bangkok. And then you did Southeast Asia for a while. How did the, what was the itinerary? How long did you, did you go for? Um, I planned on a week by week basis, which country I was going to be in. So I went where I met people. I went where I knew I had friends or sometimes I just went for an experience. I got diving certified and then found a great diving spot off Borneo and went there. So it was minute by minute, day by day, deciding where to go. Working for distant lands, do they support their employees to travel as much as possible? Yeah. I mean, I've worked for this store on and off for years and most of the times that I've left have been to go traveling. Um, but I still stay in the orbit of the store. So yeah, they're very encouraging about getting out there and traveling. Oh, and how long did your around the year around the world trip last? Uh, 16 months. I, when I left town, I told everybody 500 days. It ended up being about 506, but yeah. Congratulations. Changing experience, huh? Oh, yeah. I mean, travel is the best investment you can make in yourself, and you never regret it. You'll regret the stupid shiny car you bought, but you will not regret the trips that you take. I agree 100%. So how are you dealing with uh, acclimating yourself back to life six months in? Um... I kind of cheated a little bit. I went to Toronto first, and that kind of got me back into North America. Oh, everybody's speaking English with an American accent. Oh, all the American brands. But uh, it was a lot harder than I thought it would be. It took literally months to get back in the swing of things. Definitely. And uh, what's your next trip? What are you planning on doing? Next trip is probably to move to Asia, but that's in a couple years. But I would love to do another trip around the world in a couple years. So, yeah. Get on your around the world trip as soon as you have the time.